इंडल्ज इन संभोग इन पब्लिक एक नंबर हिंची डोकी पण जरा फिरलेली आहेत आंटीज आय विल कॉल आंटीज ओनली इन इंडिया हिअर इट्स लाईक मिलेगा ही मिलेगा तो भाड में जाए एक्झॅक्टली हा मतलब डंडा लेके मामा लोक घुमते ना सीन हु आय हॅव इन कार्ड डिटेल अँड फ्रॉड इज हॅपन्ड अँड आय टू लाईक चेंज ब्लॉक माय कार्ड इन ऑर्डर न्यू कार्ड दे आर लाईक हम लोक फुल नया एक्सपिरियन्स फुल 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 नया एक्सपिरियन्स देगे लोको को यहा पे आने के बाद सब कन्फ्युज करके कन्फ्युज थँक यू फॉर शोईंग सो मच लव्ह ऑन आर फर्स्ट एपिसोड इट वॉज ग्रेट आय सीन सो मेनी कॉमेंट्स आय रिसीव्ह सो मेनी पर्सनल मेसेजेस द बोथ ऑफ अस अँड वी थॉट दिस वी हॅव सच अन ऑनलाईन नॉट ऑनलाईन सॉरी ऑन कॅमरा केमिस्ट्री दॅट वी हॅव टू कंटिन्यू दिस Here we are with uh, episode 2. Today's topic is like very, I wouldn't say random, but this is basically like when they see people step out of their country and they come to, we are in Israel, so we came to Israel and these are like things that we found weird because we culturally haven't experienced this in India. Right. And when we came here, we were like, whoa, like this is weird or this is interesting or this is like, kathine. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so we're going to charcha on that. Beat. Why are the houses or the apartments here? They're all white in color. <laughs> Why where is the color? I don't understand. Like you mean from outside or inside? Like outside to chodi de. But inside like you see like this apartment like it's it's, it's all white, white because yeah. in India we're so used to like seeing pops of colors even mm. like when we dress up like look at me and you yeah. red, blue. Hamare to baal bhi colored hai. All of a sudden you come to Israel and all these apartments are like they're not the best. They're mm. very tiny as compared to Indian houses. like the rooms bedrooms for example the hall and the kitchen is huge jahan pe zyada time spend karna nahi hota hai pata nahi kyun that's true but the bedrooms are comparatively tiny my question is why the hell are they white even when you go to the us or like any of the first world countries all these apartments are like white af ani mala na asa manje i'm just gonna fall sick because i can only see white i think it's because of the fact that we are in a war zone i guess war zone yeah because imagine the damages that they would have to fulfill after if you get hit so the government has to pay so i mean they're trying to cut costs <laughs> <laughs> so they would rather not invest Best, in like exactly so i think that's why apart. also the people once you get into the house and you want to furnish your flats they don't do much right they will buy things for the house but they will not do the walls up right they don't do much you know right. what i mean i have a reason i think a lot of people are like moving in and out especially in tel aviv and ramat gan right. where we are living so i don't think people invest in like setting up their the rent also rental. let me tell you that not many people actually buy houses in the country they rent mm-hmm. right and in the contract now that i now that i'm thinking about it there's a clause where you have to repaint the house and give it back give it so back. i think that's yeah. why also that's true we are so used to calling elderly people doesn't matter if they're blood related or not it's just like uncle aunty bhaiya oh my god they hate it here wait i, I know and then when you come here <laughs> my aunties who are blood related tell me don't call me aunty exactly yeah, i i know this in my family i have so many aunts and when i call them aunty my parents are like don't call her aunty she's younger than you now and i'm like follow <laughs> jige i can't do that you yes, uncounted her like, to me you have been your 12 years exactly. have been your four years but even today when i'm speaking to my boss obviously like he's older to me we're so used to like saying sir in india right yeah. like sir or madam and i'm just like calling him by his name and i'm like this is so disrespectful or yahan pe like i went to college even when you have to walk out of the class and say sir excuse me i need to go to the bathroom you don't take permission you just walk yeah you just walk out it's so disrespectful to me like as a person that's uh, let, that came after like doing college and schooling in india and i had to do university over here it was like people are just getting up and walking out of class and i was like koi bolega nahi kya kuch like mere ko to tension aata tha like bolte time like when they're speaking and i have to just get up and walk out of the class karu nahi karu nahi karu might as well just hold, hold the pee exactly and then leave after like the bell rings exactly, exactly. oh my god okay but yeah eventually i got used to it and then i was like Yeah, but I still, <laughs> but I still feel like even if you don't need to take permission, I still feel like it's disrespectful to just walk out of the class when the teacher exactly. is like teaching, teaching a class. Exactly, teaching or talking. I would rather hold my pee. <laughs> I would do that. <laughs> I was like, I would not do that. Coming to pee, how do you feel about not having jet sprays in the bathrooms? Oh my here? god, we as Indians we get it installed, but now that I'm living by myself. Yeah, That's the it. one thing I miss the most. I got it. Honestly, more than my parents. I'm sorry, mom and dad. But I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> It's a real 
it's a real feeling you know when you move to a country that doesn't have jet sprays and you're like atta kay atta kay karnar atta kasa kay honar kay issue is like theek hai you wipe your done but then you need some you know the water it's actually feeling. it's actually a pain in the ass <laughs> But yeah, like you need that wash. I don't know why we are used to using water for everything. I yeah. think in India, yeah, this was kind of like weird as hell. And also the switches over here, you turn it down when you have to turn it on in India. Here we have to turn it up. Didn't you find it weird? Yeah. <laughs> Now that I think about it, ulta hai, sab ulta hai. Yeah, but मतलब तुम लिखते भी हो right to left. Exactly. Switch हो oh, switch होता है upside down. Hence um, डोकी पन जरा फिर ले लिए. <laughs> They are like हम लोग full नया experience देंगे. Full. फुल नया एक्सपीरियंस देंगे लोगों को यहाँ पे आने के बाद सब कंफ्यूज करके कंफ्यूज वीकेंड्स योर द पीपल हुई वॉच माई वीडियोज लाइक दे नो बिकॉज दिस वी हैव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ऑफ शबात यूजली फ्राइडेज एंड सैटरडेज आर ऑफ डेज एंड एवरी थिंग इज शर्ट इंक्लूडिंग द मॉल द पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट आई तो हैव वीकेंड डिप्रेशन लिटरल इनिशियली यार वॉज एक्सट्रीमली टफ टू लाइक द वन डे यू हैव अ डे ऑफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो आउट You want to do things, and you can't because the whole country is in a technical lockdown. There's no buses, no trains, no way you can go. You have to just walk everywhere. <laughs> but right, we discovered yesterday that there are weekend buses, but unka frequency is probably like very low. Every one Every hour, hour, it's it's <laughs> it's too much. And also, like if you manage to like have a car or a cork in it or whatever. But everything is shut. Where are you going to go? <laughs> exactly. Especially in the winters, like at least in the summers, you can go to the beach. Yeah, you know? that's true. In the winters, Because where are you going to go? Exactly. Although in Tel Aviv and like places like that, there are things open. But again, you have to nick pick. You have to find out. You have to do your research before you actually go. Wanna pata chala? Waha ja ke bande. India mein kaise aana? Just like it, any like, time of the day. I any know. Like just night. take a local train, take a rickshaw, just book an Uber. Here yeah. you have get taxi. There's something called yeah. get taxi, but it's so expensive. Like you can't afford yeah. it all the time. But yeah, India, you have the weekend. You know, अभी party कर सकते हैं. यहाँ पे party करने का मतलब you have to like plan logistics wise ना because exactly. इतने बजे पहुँचना है because public transport is going to like shut down exactly. after a point. Exactly. Yeah, true. Exactly. Especially Fridays that I work and I have to get back home from work. Wow, wow, wow. I have to like map it out. I have to be like, okay, if I yeah. miss this bus, I'm I'm gone. Karcha, <laughs> <laughs> because taxi. In Israel, for example, every second Sunday they are thinking about keeping it as a day off. From what I heard, but ये मैं दो साल से ये मैं दो साल से सुन रही हूँ. It's been it's been they've been deciding for years, but exactly, it's exactly it's, it's not happening. It's, no, I don't think it'll happen <laughs> because it is so like we're in the Middle East. This is hard. Like if this changes, changes, bro, like yeah, it's end of an era. I'm telling you. But yeah, I think that's the fun of. Moving into this country, like on 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 your Fridays, it's your family bonding time. You sit with your family, you talk about your day, you talk about your week. I think it's the best. In, no, yeah. In terms of like being with family, I, I think for me, that no, yes, yes, and no. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you why. I think when you're living with your family, you're seeing them almost every day, so you want to step out on the weekend. Exactly. But especially when you're living by yourself and you don't you. If you don't see them see for an them, entire yeah. week, you will want to see them on Which the weekends. Which is most of the population because yeah. children don't tend to stay with their families over here; they just move out. Yeah. ये तो हम लोग हैं जो खर्चा बचाने के चक्कर में घर पे रहते हैं. But बिल्कुल भी नहीं है. Money is expensive as hell. Okay. But coming to that, that's our next topic. You know, us moving out is not a cultural thing in India, but here it here is. Here it is. Here it is like head, like it's half and half. half. And half. So let's say in India, like I'm still 30, right? And it would be okay for me to live with my parents till I get married, off into a family, and then I'm living with the boy. Yeah. It's not very common for me to move out, especially as a woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, Unless an you're apartment. moving to another country, I think. Yeah. Then that's no, but I'm talking like within, within India. Within India. A lot of people move out of their cities or a, to another city. Like for yeah. example, people from from small cities to Mumbai, Mumbai. you know, make a living yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. But that's fine. But if I'm living in Mumbai, I will not move out of my house in Mumbai. That's true. It's very. You know, bad. I wouldn't do that. But I did it, by the way. I did it when I was doing college and everything. College. College. Yeah. College. <laughs> college. I I had a hostel life, and I also like I was living in Thane. I'm Thane to Mumbai. Up down. Itna kon karega? So I was like, Mom, I'll just move out. I think I had a little bit of a moving out experience because when you go to the army, you're technically living by yourself. Yeah, and then you have true. to do everything by yourself. It's it's a thing, you know. Especially when you're in a new country, you just learn the language, you've just grown your wings, and suddenly you're like, "Hey, pakado gun, jao, jao, khata." 
you have to do everything go supermarket shopping you know do your laundry and like everything on base because when you close shabbat to shabbat for example i have to spend two weeks on base i have to do everything by myself mm. so that time you become a little you know more independent yeah. more this coming from india i feel like i'm so used to people being down to earth and like giving hospitality and now here you go to like a restaurant and you meet all these waitresses they have a resting bitch face <laughs> Why is that? Why why do they have like listen like I understand maybe you're not having a good day hmm. but at least smile when you're meeting uh, a customer. I okay. think it's nice, it's pleasant but they will not do it here. Okay, I think I have a reason for that. Okay. After my army life, I did work in a hotel chain for like 6 months as a waitress. You're bound to tips. No matter what your attitude, you have to tip the waitress. <laughs> no, I understand that we get tips, but it's sm- but uh, aren't you going to be smart if you smile know, more and like I good know. good service you're going to get more tips. I know that, but here it's like milega hi milega. To bhad mein jaye. Exactly. Oh. India mein aisa hai, at least they do that effort. They want to, you know, entertain you a little bit more. Aur apni India mein hai wo culture, Atithi Devo Bhava. You know, yeah. Yeah, but not here. I mean, like it's normal. Like for me, as an Indian, uh, even though I was a waitress, I used to welcome them. Like they were family. Yeah, because you're Indian. Indian. Exactly. I had that value. I had that like, okay, customer, ah, boy, in ka, pura khatir dhani hona chahiye, you know, that that kind of a <laughs> yeah. thing. But like, not here. They definitely don't have that. Even if you like ask for something more in your order or something like that, they will never do it, bro. Yesterday also we had gone to a place and then we asked her for order. She's like, you can take it from there. Yeah. Like, why can't you just bring it for us? <laughs> Isn't that your job? Exactly, and also included in your tip, no? Yeah, I don't understand. Bro. <laughs> It's super weird. I annoyed just get annoyed. I'm just like even when you go to the salon in India, they pamper you, yeah. bro. They will give you coffee, chai, pata nahi, knickknacks, snacks to eat. Yeah, it. everything. Where did you eat? Where did you eat? I ate one food in the salon. I ate lunch. But here, पानी भी नहीं पूछेंगे खुद उठ के लेना पड़ेगा वो भी पूरा सर पे ऐसा बाल वाल बांध के टच वुड माय माय स्टाइलिस्ट इज वेरी स्वीट हु लाइक कलर्ड माय हेयर बाय द वे ब्यूटीफुल कलर यू कैन सी बट शी इज लाइक शी इज फ्रेंच बाय द वे एंड फ्रेंच पीपल आर सपोज्ड टू बी रूड बट शी इज नॉट बट शी इज लाइक यू नो नाउ शी इज लाइक इन द इजराइली कल्चर एंड शी ऑफर्ड मी शी ऑफर्ड मी अल्कोहल आल्सो शी ऑफर्ड मी कॉफी शी ऑफर्ड मी फूड एंड आई वाज लाइक नो थैंक यू आई एम नॉट यूज्ड टू सो मच हॉस्पिटैलिटी आई हैव अ रशियन हेयर ड्रेसर हु डज दैट फॉर मी बट I've been with him for 10 years now. Yeah, It's because years. when I found him I was like isko rakho for <laughs> life because he was that kind of a person. But uh yeah, if you try to change your salon and you're the first face that they've seen after like I don't know once a while or you you're not a regular customer, they won't treat you like anything. But in India they don't have that, yeah. No, no matter who you wherever are, you go, they will like make the yeah, basic bro. effort best bro for you exactly india is the best in that mereko to foot massage bhi diya hai baal karte karte matlab ajeeb ajeeb level mereko head or shoulder massage mila hai but leg massage abhi tak nahi mila at a hair salon but hopefully so yeah you know when i am trying to book something especially in india you just like pick up the phone and you call them your why does everything have an application there's a phone app for everything you want to book a class to a dance class or a gym class or book a table at a restaurant you have to book on an application i hate it i mean it's i think it's great but i hate it yeah. why can't i just pick up the phone and just talk no, and like customer hey customer service ka rivaj nahi hai yahan pe if you call you are either with a robot yeah. or like a what than a voicemail or something that you have and that's it people don't like to answer calls here and even if you call the customer service and they are helpful they're not helpful <laughs> they are not dhappa dhappa the name of naam pe that's what i'm saying customer service in this country really sucks they have no hospitality they won't even entertain you up to the mark where okay your questions are done bye so the weirdest <laughs> part is when you're like trying to reserve a table at a restaurant this is a fancy restaurant okay mm. they will ask you to put your card details in yeah and that freaks me out because mera ek bar scene hua i have put in card details and fraud has happened okay. and i had to like change block my card and order a new card but i think for reservations it's sort of like don't cancel on us last minute you know no i i get that but i wish when we were I dating this could have been an option Put in your card details oh in case God. you cancel on us. <laughs> oh my God! This, this should, should be a thing, you know. जब लड़कों के पैसे पैसे जाएंगे ना तब उनको value पता चलेगा. Public display of affection. So in, in Israel, okay, when I came here and then I had a boyfriend and then obviously like I'm a little weirded out because India में you would just never get 
so physically intimate with somebody like even like cops pakad lenge bro ha matlab danda leke mama log ghoomte hai na so you don't do all of this exactly. and you are like people are holding hands like kissing like holding and meko thoda sa time laga na i'm already used to this now okay mm-hmm. now go back to india with my boyfriend mm-hmm. you walking on the road and you know you get the urge of like holding, holding his hand him. and then you realize ki shit apan to mere area mein exactly. ye uncle ne dekh liya to kya bolenge <laughs> society pressure and i'm just like stressing out because like i want to hold my man's hand but i can't do that because some other man is going to like go and complain to my dad even okay. even though he knows it was the same for me in india it was always like an issue to have like a boyfriend in the colony or somebody that you knew or you went out with because the aunties used to talk you know to aunties me. and aunties i will call aunties only in india because <laughs> aunties they are like gossip channels that's what i got this to go to my mom my dad and my grandfather uncles are bigger gossipers exactly and bole aapki beti aapki beti unko pata hai main unki beti hu and they know exactly everything about my life you don't have to tell them for me it's a little weird still over here yeah. also i don't i would do it i, I love it i, I love don't it. Uh, i don't indulge in it so much because no like i wouldn't go like overboard like over exactly. this man but like yeah. i want to hold his like, hand hold hands and like kiss and stuff but, like that Kissing and all, I don't know. Because it's awkward, is that? Like Kiss on the cheek is fine. Please. Yeah, you can do cute shit in public. Not um, sorry, <laughs> indulge <laughs> in some bog in public. <laughs> आम्हाला एवढंच सुचलं तुम्हाला काय असेल कॉमेंट सेक्शन मध्ये जाऊन सांगा आम्हाला आणि आम्ही चर्चा करू इन द नेक्स्ट कॉफी पे चर्चा नेक्स्ट कॉफी पे चर्चा